Let's do this. Y'all ready for this? Da 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 da. You've had enough. Too bad. I'm just gonna fade step over there. This little corner over here. And everything will be okie dokie. Things are actually going much more smoothly this time. Go figure. last time. The soldiers call themselves the Inquisition. They've been helping helping the refugees near Redcliffe, poking around a fair bit too, though they haven't come near here. They have someone with a trick for closing those rifts. Claims she's some sort of prophet. Zealous nug shite, if you ask me. Must be one fast-talking elf to get a bunch of humans to fall for that. Not sure what she's after, but if those mercenaries do their job, we won't have a problem. Still, keep an eye out. They've been watching our movements. Assholes. Personal note, scrawled in a ledger. It's good, though, Red. Ah, uh, it's good, though, Red. With the Templars severing ties to the Chantry, we should find buyers easily enough. It has to be the right buyer, though. Don't want anyone who will get ideas. We need to control distribution. If travel across Lake Callanhad is secured, we're made. Most of the veins have been near the surface. There's enough of it, but if we find a deeper vein, a source, the take could be huge. Once we have a firm grip on the current operation, we can look into expansion. Give me. Boop. I know just where to find another gear. I have to go across the bridge. Why is there fire coming out of nothing? Very can you open this door? Thank you, sir. Excuse me, pardon me. <coughs> I want this. I think the fall is the only uh, mosaic that I've ever completed. Maybe this should be the playthrough that I actually complete another one. What do you think? Ha! 
Hello. Up there, there we are. How did you resist my freezing? That's rude. Loaded, sir. That holds the dark spawn back. Let's hope. <laughs> that position. You lean. Did I get another gear? Gear? I must have. If it's telling me. Oh, and I missed this note. Orders for lake operations. Check on operations at the lake. Make sure they're doing the jobs down there. Don't let them give a shit about the wildlife. I don't care. Take Liska with you. Give her something to do. She's been on edge complaining about humming or some nonsense. If she can't handle the job, deal with it. Liska must be L from the other note. Mm. Oh. Duh. I gotta use the... Some people make their living from valuables they find in the deep roads. <laughs> Hawk, Varric. Oh, hi. Right there. Do not perceive me. Potion, dude. Huh. 
Come on, man. Just leave us alone. We just wanted the loot. I didn't want your shit. Why are you hiding behind here? Trying to be sneaky. Can't hide from me. Take this. Why can't I take this? And that. I want that. This. This looks cool. I want this. And this. Th there's just money. Why can't I take the random money that's just on the floor? Huh? Tell me. You don't have any armor. That's why you keep dying. <laughs> Sir. Maybe you should have some armor. Seems like it would be uh, good for your health. Did it again. Real 
and running into things because I'm multitasking. Where we go? New horizon. Hello, Nug. Hello. You looked highly suspect, my dude. Belt of fire resistance. All right, what else can we do over here? Mm. Can we go there? Sure, that's not too far away. Let's check it out. First, let us go to camp. And now that Blackwall actually has armor, hopefully he won't die so much. <laughs> How did I not notice that he didn't have armor? Oblivious. Absolutely oblivious. Les Boogalooga. Roads are safer now that I wiped out the Templar and Apostate camps. It. 
he after swords. And the heel. Should we look around? Yeah. Oh, this. Good find. We did it. There's a camp over here. Very close by. Decent place to camp. There are so many bears in this woods. There's a rift over here, right over here that I haven't closed. What? trying to hit you. Is impressive, even as a ruin. I wonder what dreams it might hold. I only have, I think, three more of those to collect. And then I got all of them. And then I'll read it. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! I think the Inquisition could benefit from this. How do I get in there? That's a weird. What is that supposed to be? Is that a ram? With a bunch of eyeballs? Or is that not supposed to be eyeballs?
guess we could go up here. Eh, eh. Haha. -ha. I have found your secrets. Wah, 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 wah. I didn't even need it. Got it anyway. So there. <laughs> Nailed it. Damage. What? Probably. Definitely. But hey, more Royal Alfred. Okay. I guess we will. enough level we could do in Hushed Whispers, I believe. So, let us see. And I think we'll actually talk to a couple people before I'm just cleaning my glasses real quick. Because they were quite dirty. Talk to Blackwall real quick. <laughs> Hello. Heard you found something that had to do with wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. I've been meaning to thank you. There are a hundred things that need your attention. You didn't have to take the time to help me, and yet you did. And it's a good cause. If the history you pursue benefits the wardens. Then it was worth it. You've proven yourself to be an honorable woman. Principled. I've great admiration for you. And I've never been more certain in my decision to join you.
Eh. You don't really know me. Leliana makes sure my sordid secrets never come to light. Well then, I won't pry. I prefer to go on believing only good things about you. <laughs> I want to hear more about you. Compared to yours, my life will seem dull indeed. What did you do before you became a warden? I was a soldier, a, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So you became a warden? More or less. Becoming a great warden was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seems hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. We can continue this discussion at another time. Very well. Let's go. Hello. Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Are you from Ferelden? Ole? Free marches. Born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no. Kirkwall's not that bad. I'm not clear on your line of work. You're a merchant? I'm a businessman. My family has a seat in the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Merchants buy and sell goods. Businessmen buy and sell stores. In my spare time, I manage a spy network, and occasionally, I write books. You're an author. What kind of books have you written? I've tried my hands in a few genres. My crime serials are my most popular. Hard in Hightown, guards breaking the rules to get things done. The <laughs> Tale of the Champion is the most famous thing I've written, or infamous, maybe. I started a romance serial once, Swords and Shields, but to be honest, I don't have a knack for romances. Most of my stories end in tragedy. Probably that says something unfortunate about me personally. <laughs> what sort of shops do you own? Actually, we don't own shops. That was just an example. Mostly we invest in money lenders. Auction houses, a few mercenary companies, a couple of smithies. I think we own half a beet plantation in Ravage somewhere. <laughs> Most of that's my brother's doing. Bartrand had business sense. Not much tax, but loads of business sense. If you've run a spy network, why is Leliana our spy master? To be honest with you, she's just a better spy master. The truly great ones can keep their distance. They don't get attached to their people. Me, I always wind up babysitting my informants and worrying about their families. We're in better hands with her. How do you and Cassandra know each other? You heard about the Kirkwall Chantry being destroyed? The guy responsible used to be a friend of mine. The Seeker had questions about that. I had answers. 
Uh -huh. Thanks, Varric. No problem. A network black wall. He'll be an asset if we have to fight dark support. Don't be a fool. I don't agree, Ward. Crawls walk through. Chasing mages? That's a templar's job. The big armored, pissed off helm polisher. Not too late to go find some. Or stay home. You apparently have a lot of friends. Tell me about your network. It's not mine, right? I mean, it is, but it's also everyone. Everyone who wants to shove it to nobles who hide behind gold and silk. And hats. Are you just about pranks and revenge, or is there more to it? Well, it's a weave, right? I grease the ballroom, so a wyvern chasing git has to hunt spring. Strangely, and mates leave his vaults open. His heirlooms pay off someone else. Maybe clean streets in Kirkwall, so someone gets something else. Pish, 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 a lot of people eventually get help or a laugh. Or maybe someone dead. They do that. So, you're vandals, thieves, and murderers. If the marks are right, Arth, yeah. But maybe pantsing and clearing his vault do the trick. Embarrassed is the same as dead for some of them. Besides, assassins are bard's job. No fun, that lot. They might plonk a noble, right? But only to raise another. Plus, I'm shite at singing. <laughs> <laughs> is Red Jenny real? Or was she always just you and your friends? Dunno. Don't you care? Not if it works. I mean, Red is scary because... blood. And Jenny is... Look, nobody fears the bunch of people who do random stuff. And besides, it's easy. Nobles want a bogeyman because they need to believe normal people can't get with them. Numbers, right? It don't have to be so complicated. Doesn't this mean people think you're guilty of more than you actually do? I suppose. Does it matter? Shouldn't it? Important people kill over imagined insults. I've made more than enough real ones, so no. I don't suppose it does. Where are the people you promised? If I knew, they wouldn't be much use. That's not the point. Look, unless your baddies are rocks or trees, they have people they use. Cooks. Squires, wipers. Yeah, I know. Wipers, right? You better believe the ones wipers deserve it right in the. Well, anyway. The little people will be there when you need them. In a million little ways. So lots of little contributions add up in the background, like snowflakes that snap a branch. What? <laughs> uh, sure. Like snow, I guess. Anyway, it just works most of the time. Friend of a friend and little hints. Mind you, you still have to be smart. Don't bet your life unless you're into that. To be clear, I'm not into that. I can play along if it works for you. You have a choice. Pay or the Inquisition. <laughs> we'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? As long as it works. Hello. What can I do for you? Nothing. We'll talk later. <laughs> Said he wanted to help the Inquisition. 
Plus, I think the herbs were going to go off and nobody wanted to buy them. I think Segrit wanted people to like him. Well, good enough. You're back. And in one piece. Yes. How are your people holding up? No one's declared me a heretic recently, so I won't complain. Fair enough. Farewell. <laughs> Whose dog is that? I've never seen a dog around here. What are you doing back here? Heh. Reports of fade rifts and demons keep coming. The people are terrified and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. Why do you want me to seek out the rebel mages? Why do you care? I've known mages. Some of them were better people than me. And yet I'm free and they're not. It's not right. Let's talk about you. Me? Bards tell tales. I bet you tell some good ones. There are plenty of tales in the library. Perhaps you should look for them there. What did you do before you worked for the Divine? I was a Bard, a Norwegian spy, for many years. For a time, I also served a small cloister in Lothering. After the Blight, the Divine called on me to oversee her personal network. I should leave you to your work. We can always talk later. Askus me. What's this? The study of the Fade is as old as humankind. For so long as men have dreamed, we have walked its twisting paths, sometimes catching a glimpse of the city at its heart. Always as close as our own thoughts, but impossibly separated from our world. The Tevinter Imperium once spent vast fortunes of gold, lyrium, and human slaves in an effort to map the terrain of the Fade. An ultimately futile endeavor. Although portions of it belong to powerful spirits, all of the Fade is in a constant flux. The Imperium succeeded in finding the disparate and ever-shifting realms of a dozen demon lords, as well as cataloging a few hundred types of spirits before they were forced to abandon the project. The relationship of Dreamers to the Fade is complex. Even when entering the Fade through the use of Lyrium, mortals are not able to control or are affected. The spirits who dwell there, however, can. And as the Chantry teaches us, the great flaw of spirits is that they neither have ambition or imagination. They create what they see through their sleeping visitors, building elaborate copies of our cities, people, and events, which like the reflections in a mirror, ultimately lack context or life of their own. Even the most powerful demons merely plagiarize the worst thoughts and fears of mortals and build their realms with no other ambition than to taste life. From Tranquility and the Role of the Fade in Human Culture by First Enchanter Josephus. Just got a codex that was talking about a bard something, but it didn't pop up. Where?
let's read these. I haven't read these. Blackwall. I do not have much on Warden Blackwall. We know he became Constable of the Grey in Valshavane after Warden Constable von Fontaine assumed the position of Commander of the Grey from her predecessor. He also bears the Silverite Wings of Valor, an honor bestowed upon Olesian Wardens for deeds of great daring. The details of the act for which Blackwall earned the Silverite Wings, however, are sketchy. Grey Wardens hide their secrets well. The medal was likely awarded for a campaign to secure Deep Road's uh, entrances within Orlay shortly after the Fifth Blight. Several Grey Wardens lost their lives on that campaign. Perhaps more would be dead if not for Blackwall. According to my sources, Warden Blackwall has been traveling alone for several years now. The last anyone saw him at the keep in Valshaven, it was 937 Dragon. It has been completely abandoned, along with all other Warden outposts. I believe Blackwall is as curious about this disappearance as we are. Perhaps in time we will find answers. Liliana. I am fully aware of the intent behind your predecessor's declaration. Lord Seeker Lambert pried the Templars away from the Chantry control and led them into a, an assault upon all mages, for reasons you both find justified. I, however, am uncertain when the Seekers of Truth went from guarding against injustice to perpetrating it. If you truly believe that that is not the case, I suggest you look out a window at the chaos this war has caused and ask for yourself if Thetis will recover even if you are victorious. I remain at Divine Justinia's right hand and will stay there even if you brand me a traitor. I am sorry, but there is too much at stake to swerve from the path we willingly followed at the Chantry's foundation. From a letter by Secret Cast Seeker Cassandra Pentagast to Lord Seeker Lucius Corin, Dragon 939. Truth is far worse. I would spare you that. What remains of Kirkwall's Templars have been under my command for the past few years. We have done what we could to assist the city's recovery, to restore some semblance of order. But my time here is done. Sacred Pentagas has approached me. She wishes, wishes to stop the war between mages and Templars. She has been recruiting men and women into the cause and wishes me to oversee the group's military concerns. If the Conclave does not go well, then we will not be needed. Or it goes well, then we will not be needed. If not, we stand ready. I have decided to take the Seeker Pentagast's offer. The servals have fallen. I can give no more to the Templar Order, nor it to me. The Maker has shown me a new path. I must take it. Excerpt from a letter sent to Southreach by Commander Cullen. I got quite a few of these. I, I, I didn't realize I had collected them. A liberal and daring thinker. Willing to take a former bard and lay sister, Leliana, as a close advisor, a headstrong devotion to her own agenda, and rumored support of the Mage Rebellion earned her no small dislike from the powerful priests long used to controlling access to the Divine. In the year 940 of the Dragon Age, Divine Justinia called a summit intending to negotiate a truce between the Mage Rebellion and the Templars splintered from the Chantry. The Divine Conclave was held at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, the most holy place in Thetis. Before a resolution could be reached, a cataclysmic, a cataclysmic explosion destroyed the Conclave, consumed the Temple, rent the sky, and shattered the world's hopes for peace. Divine Justinia V perished in the Temple of Sacred Ashes. The Chantry flounders leaderless in the wake of her death, and its fate grows increasingly uncertain. If order is not restored to Thetis, Justinia V might be remembered as the Chantry's final divine.
Grand Enchanter Fiona is considered an anomaly among mages. She is, for instance, the only member of the Circle of Magi ever to leave due to recruitment by the Grey Wardens, and then return. The circumstances of that return are largely unknown, but the notoriety she gained within the Circle allowed her to rise rapidly in the ranks. She became first enchanter of the Montsmard Tower, and then elected Grand Enchanter at the College in Cumberland. The latter was based on her advocacy for greater mage freedom, a view she claimed her time with the Warden supported. Urging for a vote on the matter led to the College of Enchanters' dissolution in 940 Dragon, and then, when a vote was attempted secretly, to Lord Seeker Lambert of the Seekers of Truth arresting... Fiona and her fellow enchanters. Following their flight to the ruin of Anduril's Reach, the escaped mages held and passed a final vote on the Circle of Magi's independence. This began the Mage Rebellion. While Fiona no longer holds the official position of Grand Enchanter, most mages still consider her an integral part of the Rebellion's leadership. This fucking guy. There are some who claim men have no place in the Chantry beyond the lowest ranks of scholarly brothers and those who take their place amongst the Templars. It is not true. This is an organization spanning seven nations from the smallest village Chantry to the Grand Cathedral in Valreo. It takes more than sermons to keep it alive. There is an invisible army at work ensuring meals are delivered, repairs are made, and faithful attended to, and much of it is done by Chantry brothers like myself. The position of High Chancellor places a man beside the Most Holy. I control who is permitted audience, handle her correspondence, deliver her word to Thetis, and serve as her advisor on matters which may be mundane but cannot be discarded, disregarded. If I have influence, let it be said, it is something I use sparingly, if at all. This is a task to which I devote myself with some solemnity. I and many, f I and my fellows bear a burden so that others are free to guide the spirits of Thetis unencumbered. Excerpt from a letter by High Chancellor Roderick. A sign on, nine thirty eight dragon. He really does think so much of himself. When his job really is, he's a fucking clerk. <laughs> Emp, my dear friend, I completely understand the difficulty you face to have such well-equipped bandits attack your family's caravan so regularly and with such exquisite knowledge of your sh shipping schedules is indeed highly unfortunate. There is no shame at all in finding your household guards wanting in such trying circumstances. To answer your question, when faced with my own troubles last year, I employed the Bull's Chargers. Their leader, the Iron Bull, is a Kunari, a great horned giant of a man. He looked like a savage, but spoke like a gentleman. He seems unstoppable in combat, but is far more clever than a simple swordsman. His mercenaries were costly, but they were both strong enough to protect my family's caravans and clever enough to discover how the bandits came into such luck in their attacks upon my family. The bandits have been no trouble at all since, and a baron of our mutual acquaintance effusively assured me that he would be greatly surprised if they ever again caused us difficulty. If you wish to employ the Iron Ball, I can provide you with his contact information, as well as a list of the liquors he enjoys most particularly. Will your husband also be present in these negotiations, or will you be making the acquaintance of the Iron Bull in a more intimate setting? If so, we shall have to talk the next time our men go hunting. Yours in friendship, B. A letter lifted from a hidden drawer in a noblewoman's vanity and copied carefully before being returned. <laughs> Uh, 
Secret Cassandra. Josephine Montillier is a noble from the nation of Antiva. She was educated in Valverio, where she built connections among the court. Once she finished her schooling at a, surpri at a surprisingly young age, Lady Montillier became the official diplomat be between King Fulgino of Antiva to Empress Celine of Orlais. Um, the appointment suits her. She is well-traveled, familiar with many forms of etiquette, and by all accounts, a skilled negotiator. If that endorsement does not suffice, Josephine is a personal friend. I have faith in her. We require someone both influential and trustworthy to be an ambassador for the Inquisition. You cannot tell me you would prefer to take the job yourself. <laughs> Sister Liliana. Hey, this is for me. The Dalish are elves who refuse to live in human cities, where their people are exploited, having few rights. They choose to eke out an independent existence in the forests, attempting to keep the last remnants of their ancient culture alive. Sildi is from Clan Lavellen, a group of Dalish who migrate around the perpetually feuding free marches. Sildi's people travel along the borders of each city-state's territory, where Free March rulers will be less inclined to attack them for fear of accidentally provoking neighboring cities. Sildi manifested a talent for magic as a child. The clan's leader, Keeper Deshana Istamathoriel Lavellen, taught her how to control and hone her new powers. Sildi grew into a capable mage far away from the eyes of the Templars in mage circles. When tensions between the two factions erupted into warfare, spilling into the countryside, Clan Lavellen was forced to pick up and move. Sildi's keeper sent her to spy on the conclave at Haven, as the outcome might determine the fate of her own clan. After the explosion that killed the Divine, Sildi was the only survivor at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Rumors that the mysterious mark on her hand is a sign of the Maker's favor was spread by those who claim they saw the Divine Prophet, Andraste herself, lead Lavellen out of the Fade. Just... Ah, uh, there's, there's still so many more. I'm not reading... I'm not reading any more right now. <laughs> we'll we'll, re we'll read those later. No one can tear us up there. Have I, I looked down here? I don't think I have. Let's check it out. Ha ha, what's this? Cordelis Draken. King of the city-state of Orlais was a man of uncommon ambition. In the year minus fifteen ancient, the young king began construction of a great temple dedicated to the Maker, and declared that by its completion he would not only have united the warring city-states of the south, he would have brought Andrastian belief to the world. In minus three ancient, the temple was completed. There, in its heart, Draken kneeled before the eternal flame of Andraste, and was crowned ruler of the Empire of Orlais. His first act as emperor to declare the Chantry as the established Andrastean religion of the Empire. It took three years and several hundred votes before Alyssa of Montsmard was elected the lead to lead the new Chantry. Upon her coronation as divine, she took the name Justinia in honor of the disciple who recorded Andraste's songs. In that moment, the ancient era ended, and the Divine Age began. From Ferelden, Folklore and History by Sister Patrine, Chantry Scholar. Gimme. Why is there more reading down here? I don't feel like reading all this. It's just talking about the ranks of the Chantry. There are brothers, and then there, there are sisters, and revered titles, all that. 
women are in charge. The ladies are in charge, except in Tevinter. And that's about it. Most holy is what, what they, or your perfection is what they call the divine. And there are mothers who are called revered. And then there's sisters and brothers. I will take these injury reports to research in the nave. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? Not as well as it should. How can people focus on trivialities when faced with the breach? It is easy for us to imagine that mundane matters fall aside in tumultuous times. The Church of Light does not speak of feeding troops or arranging meetings or any such mundane concerns. But every organizational detail you contend with, Andraste herself once faced. These trivialities are steps on your path to victory, even if history never... So much shit! You realize that I follow my people's gods, not the Maker. Fair enough. But Andraste lived, and her deeds, however shrouded by myth, have their basis in fact. If you do not believe the Chant of Light, at least consider it a map of the dangers you might face. In any case, I pray this Inquisition Shrugs. Is less brutal than its predecessor. How are things? How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? How are the people here? How are the villagers in Haven doing? They are terrified. Many of them came here because the war between the mages and the Templars destroyed their home. In their minds, the death of a divine has destroyed any chance of peace. To that, at the breach. Farmers have fled their fields. If we do not restore order, half of Thedas may starve. Yeah, that's pretty bad. What about elsewhere? Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and for Elven. Are you helping? What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the Chant of Light. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. Farewell. Until next time. Bye. Turn in my research. I don't feel comfortable letting parts from demons be available for sale. To be honest, I'm not sure who would buy them. Sacred? You shady fuck. Greetings. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Sir Griffith of Tenerif, a most distinguished knight of the realm. He's defeated darkspawn, slain demons, chased down abominations. Just don't ask him about it over dinner. He spares no detail. Good to know. <laughs> hmm. 
This one. Interestingly, the runes are Alamari in origin, belonging to the tribes that inhabited Ferelden almost a thousand years ago. What is of greater interest, however, is that none of the runes translate intelligibly, meaning it is all in code. According to the translator's reference to the Guardian, also indicates an island off the northern coast. Most curious. I will continue translation in... Uh, con Continue translation efforts in the hope we can narrow this down further. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Blades of Asarian. Let's take knowledge Let's instead. The Alamari runes found in the mountain passages outside Haven have finally given up more of their secrets, pointing to one of the larger islands off the northern coast of Ferelden. The island is quite large and covered in dense wilderness, so searching it will be an involved process. According to the runes, however, there should be some connection to the original disciples of Andraste and the Guardian of Sacred Ashes. Commander Cullen, it would be an honor to serve the Inquisition and prove the mettle of the Orlesian Chevaliers by doing the Maker's work. I accept your generous offer wholeheartedly and will arrive in good time with those men loyal to me. It will be my privilege to order the Inquisition's troop in troops into holy battle against those who would threaten the Order of the Empire. In the Maker's grace, Lord Jean Gaspard of Leeds. Lady Caprina reports having had a wonderful tea with the Comtesse, and has delivered a transcription of their conversation. The triangle, oh, I remember it well, drawn in my open ledger by a visiting Antivan trader from whom I wished to buy a ship. The deal immediately fell through. I assume I did not react to the triangle in the way he anticipated. As he left, he said to me, do not be so eager to wa ride the waves, madame. Those across the sea will come soon enough. Mm. A fragment of a Ben Hasrath information report. With Jean, Jean Gisbard removed from play, Carolina or Monet will almost certainly be the next Duchess of Leeds. As the struggle intensifies, Carolina has sent agents to cause a scandal, judging that Manette does not have the skill to avoid such snares. Manette has relied upon 
Mother Renette, her mentor in the Chantry, for advice upon how to strengthen her claim to the duchy, and the revered mother, in an attempt to protect Manette, has sent mercenaries to threaten Carolina's life. Mm -hmm. Alright. Of sufficient level to start Champions of the Just, but I have been streaming for about three hours now. On, hoo 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 hoo, things gearing up. That in hushed whispers. I do not know how someone would come to this idea, but I can see the use. It is a large area to search, however. A memory from Josephine, written on a note from Sarah. Know what ruins a party? Bees. I know a man who teaches how to jar them, safe but angry. Stingy. No good for honey, but great for throwing. He's somewhere south. Sarah scribbled a jar of bees, hitting someone in the face. Also a butt. Mostly see what we have. doing that. I I already have that, but I would like it off my map now. <sighs> Leviana and Josephine have been working tirelessly to convince, coerce, and win over some of Orlais's most influential houses. Ten noble families will help the Inquisition pressure the Templars into sealing... Oh no, this is not the right one. Not that one. Wait, where is it? Do I not have... Do I have... Wait. Wait. Where, where is it? Don't I have it? What? How do I... Wait. Do I just need to go to Redcliffe? I'm confused. I thought I had to go there. Am I just being a dummy? When there was Probably. No sky, you were the sky. It wouldn't when be there the first time. It would not be the first time. Wait, what? That's for rogues. What? No. Not gonna happen. Take it. Less armor, but still overall better. This one. That one. You 
you already have one. Don't need another. Puppy, that sounded very serious. Ruby, what's going on, puppy? Not gonna pay attention to me. Hello, kitten. You cannot get in my lap. All right. Let us. Go to Red Redcliffe, I guess. Wait. No, I already did that. Okay. Let's cape. Or I guess the crossroads is an easier way to get there. Let's bring Farrick. Mm -hmm. And Cass. The OG team. because I forgot before. And now, to Redcliffe. We Boogie. Escus. Do not. Did it. Do a little peeky poo. Yeah, see, I haven't been in there. Because I think that I took the uh, high road. The 
previous time that I went through here. Yeah, I do want to get up there. Tell me, Crow. How do I get up there? Over here? I did that. This wasn't the tower that I actually thought <laughs> thought it was. I thought this was a different place. But I was still right. <laughs> so that's all that matters. Let let me let me Big team heat. How dare I take damage for that? How dare? Wait. I didn't actually get up there. How do I get up there? stone calls to me in my dreams as I shape it with chisel and hammer it shapes me in return my flesh twists claws and fangs ripping forth the light in the sky makes the stone so much louder the cave in the hills has good strong stone I can shape it into something strong enough to keep me safe if I hurry 
Jendon, if you're having the dreams, go talk to the Templars. The war doesn't matter. Their job is to help when things are too frightening to deal with alone, and the only reason the Templars didn't find you as a child is because your parents hid you away. If carving helps you, here's a map to an old cave I stumbled on a few years back. I think it has the stone you like. How the fuck do I get up there? Is it accessible from where it was? Am I just deaf? Yes. I'm just daft. Hello. Treasure. Mine. Also mine. Definitely worth it. Let's go. Boom. Hey, we all level up. This Seems useful. Did I miss anybody? Yes, I did. Solus, why are you bleeding? Have I been in this house? No. They did not want us to dream because they knew it. we would dream of the truth, of power, of the weakness in the world that will let us break it and forge it anew. We are the chosen ones. We who have the power to enact change in this world and the will to see it through. We have conquered the circles. We will conquer the Templars. Come with us to the Witchwood. None who have the power of the Fade at their hands will be turned away. An unsightly, 
unsigned letter, the edge of the page partially burned. Pumpkin spice season is my favorite season. I don't care if that makes me a basic bitch. I calls it as I sees it. Love me some spicy spice. It makes me happy. And that's what I'm drinking is pumpkin spice tea and it is delicious wait is that bell fruit no <coughs> excuse me My cough scared those birds off. Sorry. I want a constant watch on that damn thing. Sound the alarm at the first sign of demons. <laughs> that fox just ran in the house. Hello? You okay? I believe there are demons there. Meow. Ew. Remains a threat to us all. Just make her have mercy. You interrupted their banter. How dare you? How dare you? Does that mean you're let us in now? <laughs> Now do you believe we're Inquisition? Is this like an abandoned camp? Anything over here? Where are we gonna go? We'll find some place safe. Where? The mages and Templars are gonna burn down the whole world. I'm working on it. Just 
Give me goddamn minute. We spread word the Inquisition was coming. But you should know that no one here was expecting us. No one? Not even Grand Enchanter Fiona? If she was, she hasn't told anyone. We've arranged use of the tavern for the negotiations. Agents of the Inquisition, my apologies. Magister Alexius is in charge now, but hasn't yet arrived. He's expected shortly. You can speak with the former Grand Enchanter in the meantime. The Vale is weaker here than in Haven. And not merely weak, but altered in a way I have not seen. We should talk to the Grand Enchanter. Indeed. Where did my characters freckles go? I don't like that her freckles are gone. Can we fix that? freckles back it's hard to tell I think it did weird that one setting made her freckles disappear yeah there's her freckles taking my freckles away Even saying, is that supposed to be words? standing <laughs> such that it is these ruins mark the spot where a windmill once overlooked Redcliffe village it was destroyed in the last days of the blight when darkspawn attacked the area and was never repaired they haven't needed a windmill that seems weird Clipping texture, though. What is clipping through there? That tree? It must be that tree. <laughs> tree. I remember that windmill had a uh, trap door. Dropping frames just from giving my girl her freckles back. I 
can't go in there. I don't have the perk. I remember the first time the dead walked these lands. When a blood mage poisoned our leman. The ashes of Andrastia herself brought the Arl back from his enchanted slumber. Oh yeah? Tell me about your people. They say a spirit dwells in a small lake south of the highway. The girls of the village bring it daisies and ask for love. Does it listen? For it is a spirit of valor, not love, and it favors blood lotus flowers. I remember the first time the dead walked these lands, when a blood mage poisoned our leman. The ashes of Andrastia herself brought the Arl back from his enchanted slumber. Cool story. Man, the frames are just. Hello, kitten. I think she still has her freckles. They're just not as high res. I'm still dropping frames. Man! I have to choose between good frame rate or freckles. That's a bullshit. <sighs> Let me try, actually. Try restarting the game real quick. Because I want to keep my freckles. Oops. Gotta wait for it to finish. Alright. It'll just take a couple minutes. One day, I will have a better graphics card. But today is not that day. As graphics cards are very, very expensive right now. Because... <sighs> Bitcoins. Bit, bit mining, cryptocurrency. Bullshit. Come on, you can do it. You got this. Definitely seems smoother, but it also looks like my freckles are gone. Let's see. Eh. Yep, freckles are definitely, definitely gone. I look like garbage. Let's see. Was it this one? Yeah. Okay. We will not flee now. 
Okay. I think that's okay. Welcome it's back. passable. But look at the sky. And that story that all that it's not the best, but it's passable. The docks. Let's check it out. There's some spindle weed. We can always use more herbs. Hello. Ah, Senna, my darling. For the first time in all these years, I fear I will not be visiting your ashes. What world is this? A demon to brigands stop a man from taking flowers to his wife's shrine. No! What if I took flowers to your wife's shrine for you? I... I do not know what to say. Except, thank you. You are Dalish. My Senna and I, we kept to the old way as we could. Though I know we are as children to you. Her shrine lies on a hill to the west. Near the table stones. Thank you. Stay safe. Walk in peace. I'll get to it as soon as I can. <laughs> hey, what you got? Astute observation. What have I got for sale? I don't need this shit. Or that. Yummy. Hello? Are you Connor? You've heard the story, I guess. I can't believe King Alistair thought Redcliffe was the right place to send the mages. I mean, he grew up here. Did he think they would just forget what I did to them? You're not in favor of the alliance with Tevinta. Alliance? Is that what they're calling it? That Magister threw my uncle out into the street. He signed us into servitude. This is my home. Redcliffe, Ferelden. No matter what evils I've done, I would never have invited Tevinter here. What did you do? You were behind the siege of Redcliffe ten years ago. That's me. The boy with Redcliffe's blood on his hands. If I were you, I wouldn't have set foot in Redcliffe again unless I was dragged in chains. I had nowhere else to go. When we closed the circles, every city shut its doors to us. There was nowhere else to go. I hate it. I can feel the blood on the stones, even if I can't see it. That's rough, buddy. Why isn't Al Eamon in power anymore? After the lands meet, he stayed in Denerim. I couldn't be his heir, not after what happened. So eventually he passed the title to Uncle Tegan. How did you end up in the Mage Rebellion? I was living in the Ferelden Tower when the Circles dissolved. I voted against it, but... At first it seemed alright. 
No one was summoning demons. They just wanted to oversee themselves. But then the Magister came, and... It's wrong what they do in Tevinter. We are monsters. We need to be controlled. If it wasn't for me, every family in this village wouldn't be missing a son, a daughter, a spouse. I need to be going. Please, talk some sense into the Grand Enchanter. Selling out to the Imperium won't win us any friends. We have to find a way to make peace. Sure, I'll just, uh, fucking figure it out. I guess. The Dwarven Merchant Guild is, without question, the po most powerful surface dwarf institution. It has become what the Assembly is to the people of Orzammar, a prestigious club that everyone wants to belong to and the surest means to obtain power and fortune. The guild's leaders can always trace their lineage back to noble or merchant caste houses in Orzammar. The guild regulates trade between the dwarven city and the surface, and so quietly controls the entire economy of Orzammar, though the ruling king or assembly would never admit it. The guild is heavily conservative, but has started to get more of the ascendants, especially banking families, into its membership, which has caused no small amount of infighting in the guild. From the Dowager's Field Guide to Good Society by Lady Alcyone. Mm -hmm. Fresh. Who just left this money here? 60. Who just left 60 gold? Just lying on the docks. Just whoop. Dropped my coin purse. Whoopsie daisy. Mobby. Up oh, another fifty-four. I just up oh, fell out of my fell out of my pocket. I don't know how it got here. a weird noise. Oh. The Venatori have made the Oculara and they're using them to search for something. But what? Every Ocularum is made from the skull of a tranquil. I figured they'd fled with the rebel mages. Poor bastards. I had wondered what had become of them when the mages rebelled. What a tragic waste. I had wondered where they had gone. I should have looked harder. God damn it. For a healer. There's a healer somewhere here in Redcliffe. Is it here? No. Hero in every port, ballad of nuggets. Oh, the best of us ran when the dreadnought was sighted. Nuggins, nuggins for her. He heard the call. Trip nine Kunari, and that's why he's knighted. Nuggins, Nuggins, as brave as he's small. Oh, 
A shore full of pirates, the worst set to happen. Nuggins, nuggins, his heart pure and true. Tripped him an admiral, now he's our captain. Nuggins, nuggins, for me and for you. Oh. The blight was upon us, and we found no pardon. Nuggins, nuggins, now he'll make a stand. Tripped up the darkspawn, and now he's a warden. Nuggins, nuggins, for all the land. Oh. Paraded through Kirkwallis, hero and widow. Nuggins, nuggins, stubborn and vicious. Tripped up a viscount, and now he's for dinner. Nuggins, nuggins, of course he's delicious. From Small Legends of Nugs and Foxes. Collected by Philium, a bard. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Where was this healer? Was it over here? Hello. Too many people dying for want of simple herbs. My apologies. Can I help you? Hello? Are you running short of healing herbs? Yes. We've many injured from attack by those cursed Templars. I need the herbs to treat people's wounds. It's too dangerous to go hunting through the hills to gather more. I've a list there of the herbs I need. Can you help? There are refugees at the crossroads who would benefit from a healer. Of course they would. These attacks by the Templars have endangered countless innocent lives. But if I go to the crossroads to help, I might end up in danger myself. I doubt those refugees would risk their lives for a knife here. Why should I risk mine for them? People are afraid right now. I haven't been called knife here as often as I'd expected. Mostly, all the humans say is, thank you. I expect you'll find the same, and change some minds in the process. All right. If the Inquisition soldiers are there, I might be safer, regardless. I'll see you at the crossroads soon. Just give me a moment to gather my things. Thanks. I'll help you with this. May I help you? I found some of the herbs you were looking for. This is exactly what I needed. Are you running short of healing herbs? Yes, I need them to keep wounds from going bad. It's too dangerous to go hunting through the hills to gather more. Goodbye. Thank you. A pleasure to see you again. I found some of the herbs. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you so much for your help. Pleasure to see you again. I found some of the herbs you were looking for. I have for. so many herbs. Goodbye. Thank you so much for your help. I got you. What you doing on that barrel, Solus? Oh, man. I don't know. What do you got? I can't use this shit. You got my hopes up for nothing. You got nothing for me. Get the... Do you have something useful? <sighs> You're all useless. So 
over here. Hear the music coming from inside. Wow, we can heal with potions? I never knew! Welcome, agents of the Inquisition. What has brought you to Redcliffe? Is this some sort of test? We're here because you invited us in Val Royale. You must be mistaken. I haven't been to Val Royale since before the Conclave. Well, that's very strange, because someone who looked exactly like you spoke to me in Val Royale. Exactly like me? I suppose it could be magic at work, but why would anyone... Whoever or whatever brought you here? The situation has changed. The free mages have already pledged themselves to the service of the Tevinter Imperium. An alliance with Tevinter? Do you not fear all of Thedas turning against you? Andraste's ass. I'm trying to think of a single worse thing you could have done, and I've got nothing. I understand that you are afraid, but you deserve better than slavery to Tevinter. As one indenture to a magister. I no longer have the authority to negotiate with you. What about the giant hole in the veil that's spewing demons everywhere? You're just going to pretend it isn't there? I am not forgetting the breach. But we can only fight one war at a time. The Templar threat was immediate. If we live, we can worry about the torn veil. Welcome, my friend. I apologize for not greeting you earlier. Agents of the Inquisition, allow me to introduce Magister Girion Alexius. The Southern Mages are under my command. And you are the survivor, yes? The one from the Fae? I hate his facial hair so much. <laughs> I haven't seen any sign of Redcliffe's Arl or his men. The Arl of Redcliffe left the village. Arl Tegan did not abandon his lands during the Blight, even when they were under siege. There were tensions growing. I did not want an incident. I'd like to know more about this alliance between the rebel mages and the Imperium. Certainly. What specifically do you wish to know? The Grand Enchanter told me she was indentured to a Magister. Our Southern Brethren have no legal status in the Imperium. As they were not born citizens of Tevinta, they must work for a period of ten years before gaining full rights. As their protector, I shall oversee their work for the Imperium. I'm not clear on when exactly you negotiated this arrangement with Fiona. When the Conclave was destroyed, these poor souls faced the brutality of the Templars, who rushed to attack them. It could only be through divine providence that I arrived when I did. It was certainly very timely. You're quite a long way from Tevinter, Alexius. Indeed I am, though I have heard you are no Ferelden either. It seems we are both strangers here. Felix, would you send for a scribe, please? Pardon my manners. My son Felix, friends. I am not surprised you're here. Containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious. Does that mean you'll lend your mages to our cause? There will have to be.
You okay, buddy? Yikes. I'm so sorry. Please forgive my clumsiness, my lady. Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Fiona, I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. I shall send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. Come to the Chantry. You are in danger. I'm always in danger. Ooh, very mysterious. There's no telling who or what will be waiting for us in that Chantry. Only one way to find out. his codex. This one? Lords and ladies of the Magisterium, before we vote on the budget for this latest measure against the Kunari, I would ask that we take a moment to consider the state of our institutions of higher learning. The Circle of Minrathis is more than 10,000 years old. Daenerys the Dreamer himself was born within those walls. It continues to be a source of wisdom and guidance for the best and brightest of the Imperium's youth, yet it falls into disrepair. Magister Aurarius has made her case several times for increasing funding to the Circles, and as yet, her appeals have gone unanswered. Magister Viren has spoken at length on the threat of the Oxmen in the North, a tide of brutality that we alone hold back. Let me add this. How shall we defeat the Kunari? How have we held back their advance all these long years without the support from the other ma nations of Thetis? You know the answer. Magic. It is our magic that holds the beasts at bay, and through the ingenuity of our magic, we will drive them from our shores forever. My friends and colleagues, this is the battle we prepare our... our, our apprentices, sons and daughters to face. They need the resources to discover new magic, new techniques that can lend us an advantage in this endless war. They cannot do this while roofs crumble over their heads. Pair the circles. Let the Imperium's future be more than slow decline to marching steps of legions. An address by Magister Alexius to the Magisterium taken from the official minutes in 939 Dragon. Hello? Magister Alexius wishes only mages to remain in Redcliffe. He will approve of you. He does not approve of me. Many villagers have already left to escape his ire. What does the Magister have against you? He does not like to be reminded of what mages can become. He says all Tranquil must leave Redcliffe, but who would take us in? You're one of the Tranquil? Yes, my talent for magic was insufficient to protect me from demons. Rather than risk me becoming possessed, the Circle removed my connection to the Fade. My magic is gone along with my dreams and desires. Those now in Redcliffe prefer not to see us. How long have the Taventers been here? Magister Alexius arrived at nightfall, two days after we retreated from the Temple of Sacred Ashes. He forced anyone without magic out of the castle, save those he required to serve him. Even the Arl was sent away. Farewell, then. One moment. You are a member of the Inquisition, are you not? I am an alchemist. You must require potions. If the Magister will not have me here, perhaps I can offer my services. Yep. Yeah. We would be delighted to have you working for the Inquisition. Thank you. While one lives, it is good to believe there is still a use for one's talents. Hell yeah. Crows and Queen Madrigal. 
The first crow refused to speak, even when we put hot coals to the soles of his feet and peeled the skin off his face and hands with a paring knife. He opted instead to chew through his own tongue and choke to death on the blood. The second captive repeated what we already knew. Queen Madrigal went on a hunt and did not appear for the evening's festivities. Her body was later found with four steel swords through the chest. I asked what he knew about one of the four swords being a replica of Hisarian's Sword of Mercy. He had not heard about that, or at least he claimed as much. He later died on the rack, smiling slightly. The third crow must have realized he would not leave the dungeon alive. He seemed to hope that by angering Master Fiore, he would earn himself a quick death. The crow tried our patience with pithy comments while Master Fiore was trying to work. At one point, he made a remark about Fiore's mother, which I shall not repeat here. I will admit to feeling admiration for his ability to retain a capacity for coherent speech and even some wit while under extreme duress. Amid all his useless chatter, this third crow did raise an important point. His guild has a reputation to uphold. They are ruthless, efficient, and discreet. How would they maintain such notoriety if agents routinely revealed the names of employers with something as banal as torture? This gave me pause. I called for a halt to the session. After some thought, I stabbed the man through the heart and set the fourth and fifth crow captives free. If there is a confession to be extracted, it will not be done with pain. I recommend we abandon this course of action. A report by Captain Arist Aristide, tasked with investigating the assassinations of Queen Madrigal of Antiba. Inquisition, huh? I wish to Holy Andraste you'd gotten here sooner. These two incidents make my I tried! I tried. They wouldn't let me in. Who are you? Name's Tarwin. Formerly of the Circle of Magi in Hosburgh. Lived my whole life there. Since I was ten years old and came into my magic. Three meals a day. Quality education. A roof over my head. If you're not summoning demons, a mage tower is a fine place to be. If you were happy in the circle, why are you here with the rebels? We're all rebels. The vote to sort it out. The majority wanted to dissolve the circles. The rest of us went with them or cut loose. I figured I'm better off with my fellow mages than on my own. You're not happy with this new alliance? Something's not right about that lot. They're not like us. Magic or no, I'd rather count myself among decent folk than stand with magisters. How did the Grand Enchanter end up working with Tavinta? One minute. We were bracing for the Templars to attack. The next, we had a Magister ally. It was a stroke of luck that's given us an edge. In a way. Out of the frying pan. Goodbye. Be careful. The Tavinsas likely aren't happy you're asking questions. They can fucking burn. Anything interesting up here? Cozy looking bed. What's this? The annulment of Dares Dares Muid? Muid? Dares Mood. I'm just gonna call it Dares Mood, because I don't know. When we heard of the injustices against our fellow mages at the wire sp White Spire, the circle of Magi and Valreo, I feared what was to come. Our circle at Dare's Mood is small and isolated. It exists largely as a facade to appease the Chantry. When the other circles rose up, the Chantry sent seekers across the bay from Aisley to investigate. They found us mixing freely with our families, training female mages in the traditions of the seers and denounced us as apostates. Perhaps they thought we were spineless robes who 
could be intimidated with a little bloodshed. Before I was first enchanter, I was the daughter of Captain Rivard of the Felicima Armada. I know how to plan a battle. They brought with them a small army of Templars. We fought. Oh, we might have won. But they invoked the right of annulment with all the unrelenting brutality that allowed. It is their right to put screaming apprentices to the sword, burn our tainted libraries, crush irreplaceable artifacts under their heels, tear down the very walls of our home. No mage has the right to disagree. We of the dares mood circle wait now behind barricades. I have sent word to our brother and sister mages of this outrage. When they break through, we will not die alone. Final journey, journal entry of the first enchanter, Ravella, slain at Dare's Mood, 940 Dragon. Fucked up. Sears and the Alls meet. 23rd of Ferventus. When I sent out for the capital of Ravain, I did not anticipate arriving in the middle of a little provincial festival. The streets are thick with fishermen and farmers coming in from the countryside for some gathering. Uh, from uh, Rural life apparently breeds fierce rivalries. I've seen more than one fistfight erupt in the square outside the inn. And do they call this music? Excellent wine, however. It must be Antiven. 24th of Ferventus. The agreement is sealed. The merchant had more jewelry on his head than Orlesian women do on their fingers, but anyone willing to sell me silk at this price may dress how they please. Sabol, whose title is anan Een, is an amenable sort who offered to show me all's meat tonight. Apparently, the, leader, uh, the village leaders, hedge mages they dub seers, travel to Dar's mood twice a year to meet in council, forge trade agreements, and publicly pledge loyalty to Ravain's queen. Deals made at Hall's meet are seen as especially auspicious. Sabol warned me that sometimes hotheads will attempt to settle old feuds before these seers decree binding judgments here. But there are also feasts, lavish gift-giving ceremonies, musical contests, and other rustic nonsense. This explains the rabble, still. It might be amusing to sample the local color. I've just w witnessed a loudly public exchange between two men trying to outdo each other with ri ridiculous boasts in the square. The most extravagant liar was applauded and decorated with wreaths by the crowd. The Ravani are lively. I'll grant them that. I'm not at all afraid to drink with a Tevinter. Ha! <laughs> Peasant Oaf threatened me after I tripped him into tripped into a mat feast. <laughs> Bit of fire cowed him. Impressed ladies, too. What enlightened attitudes. These people have... Uh... Fantas I I cannot pronounce that word. There are three S's in a row in that word. Uh lovely dancers here. Must rem must rem get vintage from inkeep. Label was blue. Oh, probably was drunk when uh, writing that. 26 of Ferventus. Find out who's sleeping on top of me. Bring more robes next year. From the diary of Bescorus of Verantium, 932 Dragon. Those oranges... What's this say? I want to read it. Uh, 
Let's go. Going to the Chantry. Gonna meet with Felix. Maker, I hope it's not you. You're from the Inquisition? I didn't think you'd still be here. Were you really looking to ally with us? Yeah. I want this war to end without sending you back to the Circle. There has to be a way, right? We're not what they think, all blood mages and abominations. We just want to be normal, have families, use our magic to, to help grow crops or something. We never wanted war. What choice did we have? Stay and be slaves? Sometimes to achieve the world one desires, one must take regrettable measures. I hope you can do something. Tying ourselves to Tevinter. Ominous. Can't be the right way to end this? You seem young to be part of this. I'm Lisa. I came into my magic when I was nine years old. Templars came into the alienage and took me to the circle. They didn't even let me say goodbye. It's not right. It's fucked I studied up. hard. I passed my harrowing. I sing the chant. But I'll be locked up for the rest of my life. You don't approve of the Grand Enchanter's decision. I was there when we voted to leave the circle. She really seemed to care what we wanted. She was ready to rebel, but she wasn't going to unless it was the will of all mages. It's hard to believe she'd go behind our backs and sell us to the Magisters. Yeah, it Magister seems weird. A day or two after, after the Conclave, he arrived. Come to save us from the wrath of the Templars, they said. But this doesn't feel like safety. I wish I could wear your outfit. I like I like what you're wearing. Take care of yourself. There's something strange going on. I never thought the Grand Enchanter would swear to a magister. Yeah. Hey. I am Sister Tana. May I help you? I found the letter you sent a Templar named Corin. What? Shit. You can't prove anything. A letter from a rogue Templar. Nobody is going to care. So, what do you intend to do? What kind of cut are they giving you? Have you got protection? I see a suspicious lack of guards. Looks to me like you've been cut loose. Maybe you should look for a new employer. Are you serious? The high and mighty Inquisition needs smugglers. All right, I'm in. Seems like the Inquisition is the safer bet these days. We could always use some more work. Who knows what we might need to move underground. Sorry, Cassandra. Sometimes you just gotta be breaking the law, breaking the law. Finally here. Now help me close this, would you? Sure. That was not what I meant. Click. Hey. Don't you pick on him? We're 
Ronculus. That work exactly. <laughs> you don't even know, do you? You just wiggle your fingers and boo. Rift closes. Who are you? Ah, getting ahead of myself again, I see. Dorian of House Parvis, most recently of Minrathus. How do you do? Another Tevinza. Be cautious with this one. Suspicious friends you have here. Magister Alexius was once my mentor. So my assistance should be valuable, as I'm sure you can imagine. I was expecting Felix to be here. I'm sure he's on his way. He was to give you the note, then meet us here after ditching his father. Alexius couldn't jump to Felix's side fast enough when he pretended to be faint. Is something wrong with him? He's had some lingering illness for months. Felix is an only child. And Alexius is being a mother hen, most likely. Are you a magister? All right, let's say this once. I'm a mage from <laughs> Tevinta, but not a member of the Magisterium. I know Southerners use the terms interchangeably, but that only makes you sound like barbarians. Stop talking like you're waiting for applause. Just tell me what's going on. What? There's no applause. <laughs> Look, you must know there's danger. That should be obvious even without the note. Let's start with Alexius claiming the allegiance of the mage rebels out from under you. As if by magic, yes? Which is exactly right. To reach Redcliffe, before the Inquisition, Alexius distorted time itself. He arranged it so he could arrive here just after the Divine died. You catch on quick. That is fascinating, if true, and almost certainly dangerous. The rift you closed here. You saw how it twisted time around itself, sped some things up and slowed others down. Soon, there will be more like it, and they'll appear further and further away from Redcliffe. The magic Alexius is using is wildly unstable, and it's unraveling the world. I'd like more proof than magical time control. Go with it. I know what I'm talking about. I helped develop this magic. When I was still his apprentice, it was pure theory. Alexius could never get it to work. What I don't understand is why he's doing it. Ripping time to shreds just to gain a few hundred lackeys? He didn't do it for them. Took you long enough. Is he getting suspicious? No, but I shouldn't have played the illness card. I thought he'd be fussing over me all day. <laughs> My father's joined a cult, Devinta Supremacists. They call themselves Venatori. And I can tell you one thing. Whatever he's done for them, he's done it to get to you. Alexius is your father. Why are you working against him? For the same reason Dorian works against him. I love my father, and I love my country. But this? Cults? Time magic? What he's doing now is madness. For his own sake, you have to stop him. It would also be nice if he didn't rip a hole in time. There's already a hole in the sky. Why would he rearrange time and indenture the Mage Rebellion just to get to me? They're obsessed with you, but I don't know why. Perhaps because you survived the Temple of Sacred Ashes. You can close the rifts. Uh, maybe there's a connection. Will they see you as a threat? If the Venatori are behind those rifts, or the breach in the sky, 
They're even worse than I thought. I'm not afraid of Alexius. You know you're his target. Expecting the trap is the first step in turning it to your advantage. I can't stay in Redcliffe. Alexius doesn't know I'm here, and I want to keep it that way for now. But whenever you're ready to deal with him, I want to be there. I'll be in touch. Oh, and Felix, try not to get yourself killed. There are worse things than dying, Dorian. Dun, dun, dun. What a fucked up day. We believe that both Alexius's son and Apprentice are turning on him. It seems someone wants to trap us either way. Their willingness to betray raises the question of whether they will betray us. Greetings, traveler. Yeah, it's pretty fucky. Hello again. I already asked all those questions. Take care of yourself. There's something. Go do those flowers. Senna, beloved, may your ashes be gathered by Falun Din and carried safely after all the long years you carried me. <laughs> okay, I did it. Is he down here? Yes. Hi. Suppose you found my center shrine. I know it is a long way to go. I did. I cleaned Senna's shrine and placed the flowers. May her ashes be gathered by Falundine and carried safely. After all the long years she carried me. Thank you. You do a foolish old man too much kindness. Maseranus, Dalen, take this with my gratitude. Senna would have wanted you to have it. <laughs> I forgot to get this. What? Hello? How can I help you? I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. Hanley Durbane of the Cumberland Circle of Magi. I heard of your miraculous survival at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and I am so honored to meet you. I thought this was the stronghold of the Rebellion. Why do you want the Circles back? 
I never supported this rebellion. I've been loyal on Drastian, and I deplore the chaos this war has wrought. The Templars rebelling, the murder of the Most Holy. I can scarce live with the guilt. Then what are you doing in Redcliffe? Circles voted. Rebellion won out. What was I to do? Launch a counter-rebellion on my own? I followed my first Enchanter's lead, as I always have. She brought us here. Fair enough. I take it you don't support the Tevinters. On Drastis Ashes, never. They don't even sing the right chant. And they sacrifice children, don't they? I don't know how the Grand Enchanter could think of accepting their offer. You can get us out of this bargain, can't you? Before we're all shipped off to the Imperium like cattle. I haven't seen anyone from Tevinter in the village. They're all at the castle, plotting, no doubt. Thank you for your time. It's been an honor. I gets to go. Just going across the lake. How is Lord Wolsey resurrected? I killed him. Wolsey haunted. That's my theory. Oops. Back to Haven. I'm gonna talk to a couple people and then that's gonna be it for today because I've been streaming for like five hours now. Hey. Yes. There's something I wanted to ask you. Varys and Kirkwall, did you two know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. We've spoken more since I joined the Inquisition, largely at Varys. Apparently, I spend too much time with a serious expression on my face, and it's bad for my health. <laughs> what was Kirkwall like? While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. The Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Relations between mages and Templars fell apart. The prostate threw up the Chantry, and the Knight Commander went mad. Other than that, it was fine. What happened between Kirkwall's mages and Templars? You were in the Conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yeah, but you were there. There was tension between mages and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting on the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. What happened then? The Templars should have restored order. But Red Lyrian had driven Knight Commander Merit mad. She threatened to kill Kurt Wall's champion. Turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood with the champion against her in the end. I should have seen through Meredith sooner. I'll let you return to your work. Another time then. See.
Can I feel like these would look nicer than what I got currently? Everything else just kind of looks eh. It doesn't seem to change anything. Put it on. Looks fine. Hello. Need something. The red lyrium we found at the temple seemed to upset you. My brother Bartrand and I sort of discovered red lyrium during an expedition in the deep roads. We located an ancient taig, so old it barely looked dwarven. There was this idol there made of it. Bartrand brought it back to the surface, and well, everything's gone downhill. So what is it? Just another kind of lyrium? The red stuff is lyrium like a dragon is a lizard. It's not just a different color. It has a whole host of weirdness all its own. I've written to every mining cast house in Orzammar. No one's seen this stuff before or knows where it came from. What makes it special? Regular lyrium can mess you up pretty badly, but you have to ingest it for that to happen. Red lyrium messes with your mind when you're just near the stuff. You hear singing, get violent, paranoid, and then it does creepy shit. Makes things float, brings statues to life. It also turned Kirkwall's night commander to Lyria. Everyone's been kept at least a hundred paces from it since. How did the Red Lyrium get in the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I don't know. So as far as I know, the only piece to make it to the surface was destroyed. 
and the location of the tag it came from is a secret. Did someone find more of it in the deep roads? That's not a cheery thought. I think that's enough on Red Lyrian. Yeah, not really my favorite subject. Sorry. Hello, do you have anything else to say to me? Hello. No. We'll talk later. Goodbye. And I don't think I have anything else that I need to get done. So the Carter sells Lyrian to both mages and Templars. Right. Templars use it all the time. Nice, steady sales. Helps them fight magic, I think. They just don't always need lyrium, but when they do, they buy it in buckets. Oh, make her hear my cry. Seat me by your side in death. Soon I will take these injury reports to research in the name. I think that's where I am going to leave it for today.